Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. So today we'll go through the client side load balancer example. So as I explained in my previous microservices regarding the whole ecosystem of microservices and those examples, please refer to my old videos. So this is to just to extension of that uh, videos in the microservices series example. So let us consider the 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 flow of the microservice here with respect to load balancing. So I have one service which is called as a review and rating service which is registered to the API gateway as well as the API registry that is nothing but a service registry for that. So for example, you have a, I have created a four different instances of the same service like 6676, 86 and 96 which are running on a different ports and API gateway which will be redirected through or accessed through the API gateway that is running on 8062. So now we have a lot of incoming requests for the same service which is distributed across the multiple instances like these four for example and the service will be uh, balanced or handled from the API gateway to the different instances. So this is the overall use case uh, just a simple use case which I want to demonstrate today. So let us go to the example. So if you see uh, this is my service discovery if you see uh, already uh, running my API gateway registered which is a be able to see that 8062 which is running on the port and review and rating service i am running a multiple instance of the same service here one is on the 8076 one is on the 8066 it is showing two here because i'll just let me show you uh, the api gateway configuration yeah here you can see my order and payment service which i configured here as that so this is the url which i configured these are multiple services which I have to register through the api gateway so that my request will be a served from the API gateway to the different instances of the microservices. So if I see uh, both are running now 8066 and 76, let us try to access my health check service here. So see, uh, this is just a health check service which I am trying to do uh, on this part of that. So if you see service is up and running, which is running on the 8066, I am trying to just directly access the microservice running on the 8066 port here. The same as now I am trying to run through the port of 8076 from here you can see uh, it is also up and running i'm just it's just a uh, uh, directly accessing a microservice through that port there is no api gateway registry involved here so now let us see where is my api gateway registered on which port so this is you can see 8062 is my port so let us try to access review and rating rating service through the api gateway so i see here so this is the api gateway 8062 this is my desktop name which is uh, which takes by default from the this registry here you can see this is the name this is a local host so it is showing like that so if you see i am trying to set this everything try to access this everything from the api gateway now this is review and rating service this is the path which i have given here if you see the path if you if you defined here whatever the id which i have given here so you can see id is review and rating service so whatever the id i defined that from there only we have to access through the API gateway. If you if you look at my earlier videos, you will be able to see that. So now let me access this. See, I'm trying to access this. Now it is served from the 8066 port. Now I'm trying to access again. Now if you see, it is serving from the 8076 port. So it is trying to balance between both the ports here. You can see both the ports in the sense, both the instances of a review and rating service. So this is just a simple example of a health check. So you can see that it is catering to a different instance when I hit refresh, when I hit again a refresh, like it's nothing but a sending a one more request. So you can see it is it's from the 766 instance and it is see it is from the 76 instance which is registered through the Eureka. So this is a simple example how it is registered and how it, uh, users uh, incoming request will be handled through the API gateway with a load balancer configurations and everything. So how do you rate limit and what are the different ways of configuration uh, for the server side also as well as the software role balancing as well and the incoming requests as well. So I'll, I'll explain in the future coming uh, videos. Thank you. Thanks a lot.